Hi there, this is Paula with Bark. Today we're gonna talk about using the phone dialer app on Androids like the Bark phone. First, let's cover making an outbound call. When the phone is already locked, you'll notice there's a little phone icon on the bottom left. Swipe up from it to make a call really quickly. You might have to enter your lock screen passcode if you've created one, but aside from that, it takes you right to the number pad screen. The other method is pretty simple. Look for a phone icon that looks like this. If you don't see it there, just swipe up from the home screen and look for it in the apps list. If you or your kid want the phone app to be in that bottom toolbar, kind of like how I have it, so that you don't have to open the whole apps list to find it, you could just tap and hold over it and then move it down to that toolbar. If you ever want to remove an app from the toolbar, once again, you just tap and hold over it and you'll see an option to remove it. This doesn't uninstall the app, it just removes it from that toolbar. Then when you open the phone dialer app, you should land in the number pad. If not, click into the keypad on the bottom and you'll be able to dial any number. If you've added that number as a contact already, you can click into the contact section, click into the contact you wanna call. You'll have the option to call them in a normal voice call text message, or do a Google Meet video call, which is like Android's equivalent of Apple's FaceTime. So in this example, I'm gonna make an outbound call to Paola R by clicking on this green phone icon. On the call screen, you'll see that your traditional phone call options, like putting them on speakerphone, switching to your Bluetooth headset, adding other people to the call, like a conference call situation, multi-way call, and the keypad. You know, when you call those 1-800 numbers and they ask you to press one or press two, you'd click into keypad to be able to make those selections. If you're using the Bark phone and you turn on contact approval, anytime your child calls or texts an unapproved contact, they'll be met with a screen like this where they can submit it for approval along with an explanation of who they are for you to review. The call won't complete until you approve that contact. So now that we've covered making calls in a variety of ways, let's talk about accepting incoming calls. On, on an Android like the Bark phone, you can accept or reject an incoming call by swiping up on the applicable button. So swipe up on the green button to accept it or swipe up on the red button to reject it. You can check your voicemail a couple different ways. You can tap and hold over the one key or you can click on the three dots on the top right and then select voicemail. And in that same menu, you can also configure speed dial numbers. For example, if they want to tap on just number two to call mom, they can set that up. And finally, in that same uh, three dot menu, there's a settings option for some advanced settings. While there's plenty in here that I would suggest not touching, there are some cool settings that I think you might wanna turn on. For example, caller ID and spam protection, Wi-Fi calling, check them out. And lastly, I wanna talk about adjusting the ringtone volume. You can hit that selection here, or you can slide your finger down from the top. You'll see the quick access menu. Tap into this ringer. It'll cycle through ringing, vibrate, and silent. So you would just tap on it to get back to what you want. The other option is using the volume buttons on the side of the phone. They'll adjust the volume of whatever thing you're working on. You can click on the three dots to further customize the volume options for different things. And you'll find one that's specifically for the ringtone. And that's it for me. I hope you now have a better understanding of the phone dialer app on Androids like the Bark phone. And stay tuned for the other videos in the series that can help you out with any other Android topics that you may not be as familiar with. In the meantime, if you have any additional questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us at help at bark.us.